Okay, there we go. We have a salad. Now, wait, what do you mean this isn't a cooking show? It's a shmup? Well, fuck! I hope you're buckling up for some banner hunting, because we're going to hop in the cat girl without salad, an April Fool's game by way for the Cradles of Shantae. Now, if you're familiar with Shantae, you're probably quite familiar with her lovely character designs, art style, and delightful music, which all carry on into this April Fool's joke. This was originally released on Itrio for $7.99 as an April Fool's game, and it entered the Switch library as an April Fool's game and got a physical release on the Switch through Limited One Games for April Fool's in the future. Well, now the past, but you know, way after it originally came out on Itrio. So anyway, you play as a bounty hunter who's after three bounties, and the story is pretty... pretty... Slim. It's, it's a really slim story with very, very little co cohesion to it. There is a story, but it, it's pretty just kind of batshit crazy. Really, it's just a funny game. Like, the characters interact with each other. You have a little squid side to kick. So, during the stage, the main character and the squid interact. When you get to the boss, they'll interact. It's, it's pretty funny. There's a lot of hilarious lines and shit. So, it, it definitely fits how it came out for April Fool's Joke. Now, this is a very light shmup game. This is definitely not bullet hell teal difficulty. Uh, it is a left to right shmup game. And the the unique gimmick to it is the power-up. So, you'll find these Famicom cartridges. Uh, in normal gameplay, they'll drop off enemies you kill, and you can pick them up, and they change how your gun functions. And they're based off... Uh, different kinds of games, like there's the Mega Man jumping gun, there's the Pac-Man gun, there's a golf gun, there's an RPG gun. Like, they're, they're all really interesting, and you'll likely find one or two that you're going to likely gravitate more towards. So, uh, the crappy thing with the system is if you get hit Corby style, uh, you will lose your power up, and uh, you will, well, you will be at <laughs> a disadvantage if you really really relying on that power up luckily once you beat the game you will unlock a different option to change your gun powers to rotation to where you can use the shoal buttons to change without having to worry about picking up and losing but you have to unlock that ability there is also an invincibility mode if you hit uh the negative button while choosing a stage you'll hear a chime and that will activate invincibility mode and why that's unlocked immediately at the start of the game, I have absolutely no idea. The game doesn't even tell you what it is. I I literally started the game, tried to look for an options menu. I hit that button, and I'm like, I don't know what that did. And, you know, I continue to look to see if there's an option menu, which there isn't. And then I start the game, and I didn't realize I was in god mode until, like, midway of the second stage. I was like, wait a minute. And I'm like, oh... I'm invincible. <laughs> I had to we we start stage one legit because of Fig Wake that out. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoop. Yeah, the game's pretty generous with life. You can get a little extra life after each of the boss fights. You can we play for higher score and the outcomes of your choices interacting with the final boss after finishing them. But it's pretty much a quick and done game. Now, being on the Switch, you have pullability op option, uh, which, you know, this is a quick uh, pick-up-and-play type game, so it's fantastic for the Switch, of course. But, uh, be that it may, it's a very short game with only three stages, and uh, we, again, come full, full throttle in the common question, what, what is the value of such a short game? There is a lot of good passion stuff put in the game. It's not like it's terrible or anything, but it is incredibly short, and it is not going to get a lot of replay out of the majority of people. Now, on Itrio and on the digital eShop, it's $7.99, so basically $8. Limited One released the physical edition of this for outrageous $34.99. 
That's that's pretty outrageous to me. Limited One has done a lot of overpriced shit before on smaller games, and I know small games are a big debate on their value. It, it, it's hard to really come down with a uh, a reasonable price everyone agrees on because everyone views the value of the game differently. And you know, I always say with a physical release, like a minimal $19.99 is understandable for making all the physical product and everything. I think on a mixture of making the cartridge disc, case, artwork, whatever behind the shit, and then the fact that you're buying a physical version you get to own and keep, you know, I feel like that all works in that price point. And this, this should have been on the lowest end limited one game we've done. Honestly, and Limited One is very notorious for never doing that or making compilations, something that Super Whale Games has been doing lately. Um, this is the kind of game I feel like should have been in a compilation or bonus to something. They could have bundled it with one of the Shantae games or even that like sports Game Boy Color game or something. It just feels kind of outrageous for $30. Five dollars essentially. They could have at least, if they were going to be uh, overpricing it, made it just 25 dollars at uh, 24 99 It just, it's just crazy to me how much they did this game. Now, luckily, uh, uh, most of the general populace on the reselling market agrees that this game does not deserve to be super expensive. So, if you're looking to get this game, uh, you can still get around its actual release price. Loose 25, complete 29.99, brand new in the 30s. So, yeah, like it's not outrageous priced in the used market, luckily. So if you're if you're interested in getting it physically, you don't mind obviously paying a bit more. Uh, there's that. But again, as I said, the game is on Itrio exclusively on PC. So, and Itrio is a DRM free platform, so you get to own the game that way too. So, that's not a bad way either if you don't mind it being on PC, of course. But if it has to be on console and it has to be physical, right now is probably a good time to get it. Because I, I can see the game becoming well in time. So, down the road, it wouldn't shock me if the physical release started becoming somewhat pricey. How pricey? Who knows? I mean, it could just get to the 50s, and it could even go beyond that. Who knows? It's hard to say sometimes. It's a fun game. I enjoyed it. It was a nice uh, April Fool's uh, stream I did within that, and I, I do like the game. It would, it would be interesting to me if they actually did, like, a sequel and a more of an actual full-blown kind of game instead of, like, a throwaway April Fool's game. And... For a throwaway April Fool's game, it, it is fun and funny, and you will get entertainment for that $7.99 with your uh, digital price if you get that. But what would I value the game? I Like I said, these kind of games are tricky, and honestly, I'll be right to the point. I think the $8, the $7.99, is a okay price. That I think that, that works out fine, you know? It's a short game, and these kind of games being 10 or under, or all, like, anywhere between 5 and 10 would be a completely fair price for this game, honestly. And I think $8 is a nice middle ground between both of those prices, so I think it works just fine, especially with all the way forward touches. They could have actually gotten away with probably doing $10, but, but nope, it's 8 and I think that's perfectly fine. Now... The physical release honestly should have been at least like it honestly really should have just been fucking twenty nine nine. Like I don't think limited one games outside some of the most oldish holy shit has ever been like that fucking low. Like um, let me see if I can because I know you can look up the old stuff, but I don't think it shows the prices on the.
Looking back at the really old catalog, which luckily it looks like they actually fixed the price things, because I remember looking before and all the prices for a lot of old releases didn't exist in all kinds. So, looking at a lot of old releases, uh, a lot of releases Limited 1 used to do for twenty four ninety nine a lot of times, which, huh, man, those are pretty rare these days. But yeah, like Limited 1 used to have a lot smaller, but they've obviously, you know, raised their prices a lot more now, so, oh boy. I think they had Shantae for twenty nine ninety nine for Pirates Course. Yeah, so many games they had that were twenty four ninety nine. Now that's like almost non existent nowadays. Of all though, those are my thoughts on Cat Girl without Salad. It's a fun game. I would check it out. You'll have to depict whether getting a physical version's worth the price point it goes for now, but Definitely right now is probably the better time to get one versus waiting for it to eventually likely start walking up its price point But like I said, there's always the Itrio version too, so that's always good in my book Anyway, thank you for joining me here at the Proving Grounds if you feel like you learned anything interesting about today Feel free to leave a like and if you feel like you learned nothing at all, feel free to leave a dislike, you're free and took next time. And quickly I would like to say I apologize for the lack of reviews. Uh, it's been a little bit hectic with real world things lately and I'm going to try and get a few quickie things out like this one and work on the Legend of Zelda one that I've been meaning to was originally going to be next but because uh, of delays in real life and stuff and the trip I had. I just, uh, it just, uh, eh. it's just been a little complicated and stuff, but I apologize, and we're going to try and get this train back on Wales before I have another trip later this year, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you for staying tuned and holding tight, and I'll see you next time out there in the galaxy of bounties. Let's get out of here. I'm starving. Yes, sir. Apple Grapple!